Well, hey there. <laughs> I know normally we use Thursday Thoughts as a chance to get out in creation and nature um, and not spend it in the toilet paper aisle. But I woke up this morning just remembering the toilet paper panic of 2020. Do you remember, remember that? You would go and all of a sudden everyone, as that we're realizing two years ago that the pandemic and we're on quarantine and, and two weeks to, you know, flatten the curve. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden everyone's solution to the problem of something that we've never faced, which is a worldwide pandemic was, I've got to get a lot. I've got to get a lot of toilet paper. I've got to get as much toilet paper as I can. And then we'd go and uh, and then the, the stores would actually be empty. The shelves would be empty, which of course then confirmed our panic buying. And then we started going and trying to find other places that might have it. Um, the word got out that the hardware store actually carries toilet paper and no one knows that. So keep it to yourself and go. Um, and, and by the mid of April, there was uh, empty shelves almost all across America. Over a billion uh, dollars had been spent on just toilet paper alone. And even though logic had nothing to do with it, right? Because COVID didn't affect the intestinal tract. And so logic didn't have anything to do with our panic buying of toilet paper. But this was a, a, uh, a fear-based decision. And uh, what I want to do today is, forgive the pun, I want to flush out fear. I want to ask ourselves, why is it that, whether it's toilet paper or something else, we think we can solve the fear problem on our own? You see, Josh had a fear problem as well. Joshua, we're reading through Joshua right now in our life journaling. And God says over and over at the end of Deuteronomy, all the way through in, uh, all the way to uh, Joshua uh, chapter 10, we keep reading this combination of be strong, and courageous, and do not fear. Now, it wasn't just Joshua. We're told in scripture almost 365 times some variation of be not afraid. So Joshua, of course, had a lot to be afraid of. He's the guy after the guy, right? He's the one that's supposed to lead the people into the promised land and the Jordan is overflowing. And he's the one stepping into some pretty big sandals uh, to lead the people. He's seen how the people react when things don't go well and so he's got a lot to be afraid of and the cure for Joshua wasn't to uh, run around grabbing things wasn't to come up with his own strategy wasn't to prove that he's so much better than than Moses no God gave him the cure in Joshua 1 8 he said meditate on the book of the law day and night do not let it depart from you do exactly what it says, and then your way will be prosperous. And then one verse nine says, be strong and courageous. I command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. The cure, as it turns out for fear, is to bury ourselves not in our man-made solutions, but in the word of God, that we would trust that God's word is more real than what we feel. And I bring this up because obviously two years later, um, you know, the pandemic is, is fading away when we're all praising God for that. None of us are, are running. There's no lack of, of toilet paper here on the shelf, but we're still in panic mode. We've just gone from being afraid of, of COVID to now we're afraid of Putin and we're afraid of uh, po the you know, possibilities of a, a World War III. Uh, it's, we're just gonna go from fear to fear or we're gonna go from faith to faith. I think one simple solution is, let's stop feeding ourselves on all of that other news and start feeding ourselves on God's good news. I'm not saying don't be aware. Absolutely, you should be aware of what's going on in the world. We definitely need to be praying and standing with our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine and in Russia who are under persecution for telling the truth. But let maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes max. Most Americans are spending 70 minutes a day consuming copious amounts of news. We just don't need that. If you're finding that your mechanism, you're waking up in fear and panic and you're going to sleep in fear and panic, you're having a hard time sleeping, maybe the solution for you and I is the same as Joshua's solution. That no matter what impossible Jordan, no matter what wall of Jericho, no matter what army of impossible problems you and I are facing, God is saying the same thing to us as he said to Joshua. We're gonna flush out fear 
we're gonna wipe it out. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of this fear by meditating on God's word day and night. Listen, if you don't have a reading program, I know discipline, uh, the discipline of daily reading and journaling doesn't maybe it doesn't seem like your thing, but if it worked for Joshua and look what he was able to accomplish. It can work for you and I. You can download our Father's House app. It's free. And just we, we can read through the book of Joshua right now together. And as you get into God's word, meditate on it day and night. As you replace the words of worry of the world with God's words of truth, you're going to find that fear level goes down. We're not going to be running around like crazy people making illogical um, solutions to impossible problems. No, we're going to be running to the God that's bigger than all of this. So let's do that together. I'm gonna to go ahead and grab some toilet paper. I mean, we got a big family. So, um, and I'll see you guys next week. God bless.